you're a young professional or a growing family and you want to know the transportation options that Barry has to offer. You're thinking of buying a home there and you're unsure of how can you commute to the city of Toronto if you have to work there or you're wondering how you're going to attend the family functions or you want to check out your favorite sports team at Scotia Bank Theater. I get it. You want to know all this information because you want to make that informed decision in buying your next dream home in Barrie. Well, in this video, we're going to be traveling to Union Station in downtown Toronto via the GO train. We're going to take the train from Barrie South GO all the way to Union Station. Stay till the end of this video where I'm going to tell you one place that you could take your family so that they can enjoy themselves. Barrie is a great fantastic choice for the individual who wishes to relocate to this city while enjoying the perks of suburban living. We see that Barrie South Go Station is a contemporary well-kept station the moment you arrive there. For those who wish to ride a bike into the city, Barrie offers a bike sharing program that's close by to the station. And for those who wish to save money on gas and lessen their carbon footprint, this is a perfect solution. If this is your first time on this channel and you want to know about the eating, the sleeping, the playing, the good, the bad, the ugly of living in Simcoe County in York Region, we want you to subscribe below and tap that bell for notifications. You could be the first to know about your current market in Simcoe County and York Region. My name is Solomon Amomensa with The More Realty. We get calls from people like you, 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 and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, shoot us a call, send us a text, let's schedule a Zoom call so we could help you love your journey home. So looking at the Go Network map, we could see that the station is crossed by a number of stations. This makes access to different areas of the city and the region very simple. So it starts off with Allendale Waterfront, Barry South, Bradford, East Gwillimbury, Newmarket, Aurora, King City, Maple, Rutherford, Downsview Park, in which you can connect to the Young University line on the TTC, and then lastly, Union Station. As a result, you won't have to deal with the stress of traffic and parking, and you could easily simply access downtown Toronto and all of its facilities. So there are many alternatives when buying tickets for taking the gold train. You could simply make a payment at the counter, go to the vending machine, or you could use your smart card or Presto. This implies that you have different methods of payment in taking the transit, whether you wanna pay with cash, credit card, or you wanna make it practical, load money onto your Presto card. You have all these different options in access the gold train. Presto is the more convenient method of option and payment when taking the gold train. If you never use a Presto card before, it's a smart card that you could use to pay for a gold train ride. A trip like this one will cost us $12.83 at the time of shooting this video. If you don't have a Presto card, it will cost us $15.25. If you're a senior or a youth, it's at a discounted rate. Children are free. To make sure you never run out of money, it's best to top up your card at one of the machines or set up an automatic reload feature. By avoiding the need to often check your balance and reload your card, you could save time and hassle. So you could see that the stations clearly marked with signages, accessibility ramps, which they make it foolproof where you don't get lost. Just look at the signages and you wait for the train and you enter. So you won't have to worry that you're taking the wrong train and which we're gonna do today. So today, in this video, we're gonna actually jump on that train. So come with me as we're get ready to go onto this train. Once we're inside the train, you can see that the train inside is nice, sleek, and cozy. Very convenient for anyone. You could relax, there's outlets, there's Wi-Fi. It makes the ride so comfortable. Uh, we could just sit, relax. You could also be working. If you're that professional coming from downtown, Union Station, you could be working on your laptop with the outlets that are provided, the Wi-Fi that's provided, or it's so comfortable that you could just unwind and just sit until your stop comes up. So we're aboard on the train now and we're just gonna enjoy this quiet ride 
It's comfortable, nice and warm, straight down to Union Station. Enjoy. And I'm going to show you guys the nice things to know about traveling on the GO train. It's very convenient, very, very comfortable, and it gets to our destination in peace. So stay tuned while I show out some of the interesting things about the GO train and how to safely get to your destination safely. Stay tuned. Wow, on this nice wintry day, it's a fantastic option to be taking the go. I don't want to be dealing with the wintry conditions on that Highway 400 right now. Best that I just sit, relax, get to my destination safely, Union Station, and just enjoy the beautiful scenery. so beautiful. Some cool neat features about taking the gold train that I also want to include. Did I say that you have massive leg space? Massive leg space. Oops. Let me just preface that over there. Massive leg space, right? So if you're a tall guy like me uh, and, and you need that leg space to relax, you have it in the train. It's very private. You're not close to your neighbor, even though I don't have a neighbor beside me today. But you do get that flexibility, you do get that relaxation with the GO train. Also, if you need to use the washroom, let's say you were on the GO and you forgot to use it at home, GO train has washrooms onboarded on train, which is also cool and neat. Another cool thing that I noticed that I realized once I boarded the train is how clean the train is. Very, very clean. GO train does a good job. And keeping their, their trains very neat and tidy. Also, the clientele is a bit different here than what we're used to seeing in TTC. Everyone's to themselves. Everyone tidies up after themselves, which is good. And they don't leave a mess behind. That's another thing as to why we see that the gold train is very clean and tidy. Oh, that's a bumpy one. This is East Squillumberry. New market. Aurora. King City. The stops is Maple and Maple has transformed in the last 10 years with upgrades to their station, city, the town. They've invested a lot into this station and they see that the North Line is growing and hence why they're doing all these renovations. Take a look. Maple is in uh, York region, beautiful, beautiful town. Uh, I will make a video about Maple, but as for now, just take a look at the scenery, how it looks at the houses. And I'll let you know how Rutherford looks like when we get there. This is Rutherford. Rutherford also did a massive transformation as well. Pretty much made a 7,000 square feet station filled with amenities, digital signages, accessibility walkways, state-of-the-art uh, platforms. They've taken it to another level. Again, they see the growth in the community and it needs it, right? There is a lot of people that commute from Rutherford to the downtown corridor and hence why they did this massive improvement. I believe it's still growing, it's still moving into different stages, and it's, it's amazing. Good job, Rutherford. Good job, City of Vaughan. Downsview Park Station. Get into the TTC, I believe the fare is about $3.50. If you have a Presto card, it could be cheaper, but connect on the TTC, jump on the train there, and there's many more stops before you arrive to, to Union Station that allows you to get to your destination. So if it's not Union Station that you don't wanna go to, well, hop off at Downsview Park Station, take the local train, and then get to your destination safe. Well, we're now passing Downsview 
Park Station. We're getting closer to our last stop, which is Union Station. I felt like this has been a short ride from Barrie South. It's been a pleasant ride. I was able to connect on my laptop, do some market research for some clients, but many things that I love about taking the Gold Train. Just some quick things that I want to point out. One cool thing that the Gold Train offers is once you get to Union Station, and maybe it's not downtown Toronto that you want to go to, maybe you want to connect to the East End, the West End, it does that. By getting to Union Station, you could literally take another train and connect to Mount Joy or you could take a train and connect to the Kitchener line many many options and that's the cool thing about taking the gold train yes it is costly I'm gonna emphasize that that it is very costly if you're going on journeys like that but it gives you that flexibility if you are living in places such as Barrie Vaughan Maple you have that convenience of hopping on the train and going to different lines which is a cool thing You can see that the gold train is timely. It arrives on time as we get closer to Union Station. Good thing about it, it makes it simple to organize our travel and guarantees that we'll arrive to our meeting or event on time. In other words, you can count on the GO train to bring you there on schedule and without any problems. So we've arrived at Union Station, everyone. That felt like a short ride. As I look at my clock here, it literally took us an hour and 20 minutes leaving from Barrie. It was shorter than what they anticipated on the website, but yeah, that's a good thing about Go. You're gonna get there on time and you could be confident and assured that you won't be late for that meeting or that basketball game or hockey game that you're trying to catch, providing that you leave ahead of time. But you could be assured that you're not gonna miss that great event. So let's check out Union Station and some cool things. That's another Go train, uh, I guess, going to a different location, as I was telling you earlier. This is pretty cool, pretty neat. So there you have it. For those that want to move to the city, but want the ease of living in the suburbs, then Barry's a perfect option. You could take the GO train from Barry South GO to Union Station in a matter of minutes or uh, less than an hour and a half. It's understandable why more and more people are taking the GO train due to the pleasant time on the train, the cleansiness of the train, the variety of ticketing options, and on-time service. All right, everyone. Hope you found this video informative, educational, and also entertaining. Tell me, leave a comment down below. What are some of the fun things you like to do on a long train ride? Or where's your favorite destinations you like to go to on the train? Remember I said stay till the end? I'm gonna provide a fun activity that you could do with your family when you get to Union Station? That's it. That fun activity is the Ripley's Aquarium. It's one of the best things to do as a family and the kids will love it. So check it out. The link will be down below in terms of ticketing options, but check it out. So as I mentioned earlier, my name is Solomon. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, feel free to give us a text, send us an email, let's schedule a Zoom call. All that description is found below. Until next time, we hope we could help you love your journey home.